Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So in our Etsy shop refresh videos, I promised to show you how to make video pins for your Etsy shop and then I forgot. So this is the makeup. <laughs> we're gonna go to create a design, create pin, and then we're gonna go to uploads and I need to upload my videos and I made, I did two videos. And these are gonna be spooky Halloween candlesticks. Okay, so there's one coming up. There's the other one coming up. So on this one, they're processing, they're thinking about it. Let's see. Okay, I think on this one, I put the candlesticks lower, so we're going to have them right there. Let's see how they look. Oh, perfect. All right, so that looks good. Oh, nice. Now I want to add an element to this because I want this to say text. Spooky. Okay, and then I'm going to say perfect for your right because otherwise I need to tell people what this is for. They may not know that this is for spooky Halloween. I have to do some marketing, right? Perfect for your spooky Halloween. Okay. All right. Now... I want to do a little drop shadow. I don't want the transparency to be much at all. What is this white thing up there? What's going on up here? Is that part of my video? Oh, it's part of my video. Okay, well, we'll live with it. All right, so we got a drop shadow on here. Let's see what we can do. Is there anything we can do? Ooh, how about that? Oh, that's okay. Once I get a, a, a look I like, I just copy it. And then we want this to be orange. Well, orange doesn't work. We have yellow. Ooh, perfect for your spooky Halloween. Oh, I love that. Okay, and then I may do a call to action. Get them on Etsy. All right. Let's see what happens with that. Those are really perfect for Halloween people. I don't think that you can doubt that. I'm going to put a little black behind. 
behind this, just because I have that stupid white thing, just to make those words pop a little bit. There we go. Send it back. And it's got a transparency on it. I put a transparency on there. Can we make spooky spookier? Do I have any spooky fonts? That's terrible. That's spookier. Uh, let's see. We got anything creepy? That's too cute. That's not. Uh, that's okay. Well, that's kind of cute. What about this? That spooky. How cool. Okay, I'm gonna, because I like that spooky so much, I am gonna make this whole bar go up. Perfect for your spooky Halloween. Okay, and we're gonna say download, mp4, download. That's our first one. And then I want to make a bigger one, but I don't want it to be two to one. So two to one would be a thousand to two thousand. I'm gonna do like a thousand to, let's see. What is the largest size video you can do on Pinterest? See, when you have a question, you just ask Google. Uh, but, 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 uh, taller than, okay. So, taller than 1.91, so that's almost two to one. So, let's try it. We're going to try it, and we're going to go back to home, and we're going to say create a design, custom dimension. So if we do a 1,000, 1,091, would be what that thing was. So let's do a 1,800. Let's try that. Okay, and the reason I want to do this is because this video is right in the middle, right? So when I took this video, this was a bad idea, bad idea. I'm going to, let's see, I want to, there we go. Okay, so I want to pull this down. I want to keep that up there. That's cool. And then I want to pull a picture out of this video. And I'm just going to do a screen capture. I think on this one, that's perfect. Command Shift 4 on a Mac. You're going to have to look up how to do a screen capture on your PC. And I'm going to upload this. Upload a screen capture. That's going to be in my images, so I'm going to pull this over. Okay, let's see how this looks. I almost feel like That's not bad, right? You get to see most of it. There's, oh, that, that's much better. You get to see more of it. Okay. So we're going to say, I'm not going to put any words on this. I'm going to say download, download. All right. Now we're going to go to Pinterest. 
The only one of my Pinterest I can get to upload any kind of video is my um, Marketing Artfully. So we're going to use that. Normally I would use either Glamorously or Artsy Fartsy Life. So let's do create. Oh, we want to change the name of those pins. Spooky Halloween candlestick. Stick one. Okay, and then we're going to name this one Spooky Halloween Candlestick 2. All right. All right, and then I have a folder on my desktop that says pins to post marketing artfully. Remember, I wouldn't normally put it to marketing artfully, but this way I know I need to post those. I'm going to put them in there. And let's try to upload this one, which is the tall one. Well, there we go. It likes it. Okay, so let's go to uh, Etsy. And look up glamorously. If I could do my shop name. And because I have this in my tags, it will show up sometimes here. Let's see. That's mine. All right. And I need Halloween. Halloween candlesticks and I'm just going to take this and put this in here up oh, too long and I want to put spooky spooky Halloween decor gothic grapes blah 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 go grab my spooky Halloween Put this in here, add tags, Halloween, event planning, beauty, Halloween, uh, I guess event planning, and then let's see if we got candlesticks, candles, candle holder, oh, candle holders, okay, I can live with that. I always call them candlesticks, but they're really candle, uh, everybody else in the world calls them candle holders. Okay, we're going to get our, and you don't need the end of that, you can just go down to the number, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to pick a, pick a, Oh, good. The Glamorously Vintage is linked to this one. And then we're going to publish. And that is how you make a pin, video pin, two different ways for your Etsy shop. You can do that with anything. And I will um, wait a week and pin that other one in a week probably. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.